how to add text to TikTok. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add some text to your TikToks using two simple methods. First, I'm gonna show you how to add text using TikTok's built-in editor, and then I'm gonna show you another way to add text using Veed. Veed is an easy to use online video editing software based entirely within your internet browser, and it makes adding text, images, and subtitles much more customizable than within the TikTok app, which is really gonna give you some creative freedom to help you stand out. So first things first, I'm gonna add some text on TikTok. On my phone, I'm gonna open the TikTok app, and then when I'm in there, I'm gonna hit that plus icon at the bottom. And now if I want to, I can record a video directly into TikTok, but I've already recorded one, so I'm gonna go over here to upload. And then when it opens my camera roll, I'm gonna select the clip that I want to use. So as you can see, my clip is a video of me pointing to different sections of the screen where I want to add some text elements. To add text on TikTok, I'm gonna click next. And then on this next screen, I'm gonna click text from this bottom menu. This opens up the text editor, which gives you four options for editing your text. But first of all, I'm just gonna type in what I want my text to say. So I'm gonna put add text. And then just underneath it, you can see all of the different options. So you can change the color here from the color menu. You can change the font. There's a few different options for you to choose from. The next one to the left, you can choose the alignment over to the side, over to the side and in the middle. And then you can also change the style with this end option, which can put a border around it, a backdrop, a drop shadow. So I'm going to have mine with a little outline like that. And I can now move my text wherever I want in the frame just by dragging it around. I'm gonna put it up there where my finger is pointing. And I can also change the size just by pinching it with my fingers. I could change the size and the angle to however I want it within the frame. Now for some timings. I want the text to appear when my finger points to that area of the screen. Now to do that, I'm gonna select the text again and then hit set duration. Now in this menu, I can click and drag the red highlighted box over my clip to choose where I want the text to appear. Now, in my opinion, this is where TikTok starts to get a little bit clunky and hard to use. Especially when you start adding several different text layers on top of your clip, it can get quite tricky to pinpoint exactly when you want the text to appear. So as you can see now, after a bit of trial and error, the text now appears when I point my finger to that area of the screen and I can click the tick in the bottom right corner. I'm now gonna follow the exact same steps to add another text layer for when I point at the bottom of frame. And now I've got a finished TikTok video with two text elements added on screen, ready to upload. But now I'm gonna show you how to achieve the same effect using Veed, which has a lot more options for customization. So first in my internet browser, I'm gonna to go to veed.io and on the homepage, I'm gonna click upload your video and then upload a file. And on the desktop, I'm gonna select my TikTok video and hit open. Veed will now import the video and as you can see, it's now sitting down there in the video timeline. The great thing about Veed's editor is that it allows you to be a lot more precise when it comes to the timings of your text and you're not limited to TikTok's fonts or colors. You have a lot more choice on Veed. So to add my text, I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side and hit text. As you can see in this menu, there are a lot of different options for styles of text, but I'm gonna keep it simple and hit headline title, which automatically drops a text box on top of my video. Then in the text edit window, I can type in what I want my text to say. So add text. And then underneath you can see that I can choose from lots of different fonts. I can choose the size. And then I can choose from lots of different colors from the color picker or the palettes option here where you have lots of different colors to choose from. So as you can see, all of my adjustments have been made to the text box on top of the video. And now I can just click that and drag it to the position where I want to see it in the frame. And I can also click and drag the corner to adjust the size like so. And I can also rotate it like this so I can have it at an angle. Now I want to adjust the time when the text appears on screen. So I'm gonna go down to my timeline and you'll see the text box sitting on top of my video there. I'm gonna select the text box. I can just click and drag the ends of the clip to adjust the time when it ends and also when it starts. So I'm gonna find that moment with my playhead when I point my finger to that area of the screen. And as you can see on Veed, I can be very, very precise about the timings that I make. 
and it's just a lot easier to make those small adjustments than on the TikTok editor. And I could do exactly the same with my second text box too. And I can add as many text layers as I want on top of my video. And I can change the styles, change the color to whatever I want it to be. So now when I drag my playhead to the start of the video and hit play, you'll see that I have a very simple but finished TikTok video ready to upload. A lot of people also like to add burnt in subtitles to their TikTok videos. And Veed can do this automatically. So you don't have to waste time typing out every single line that you speak. So for this, I'm gonna use a different example clip where I'm actually talking in the video. To add the subtitle, I'm gonna head over to the left-hand side where you see subtitles. And then in that subtitle menu, I'm gonna select auto transcribe. And now I'm gonna select the language that I'm speaking in the video, which is English. And then I'm gonna hit start. This might take a few minutes if there's a lot of talking in your video, but as you can see, Veed has now automatically transcribed my video and put the subtitles on top of the video clip in the timeline. So now if there's any mistakes, I can go into these text boxes here and I can just make any adjustments, but it looks like Veed has got that spot on. And I can also change any timings by just clicking and dragging again when I want them to appear. Veed has added this nice black background to my subtitles, but if you want to change that, just go over to the subtitles window and hit styles. And in there, you can see all of the adjustments that you can make with the styling and effects. And down at the bottom here, you have some presets and you can see that Veed will change it to whatever style you want. I quite like these yellow subtitles here. So now if I hit play, you'll see that Veed has automatically changed all of the subtitles to that style. Hi guys, Veed is now adding subtitles automatically to my video. When you're finished editing on Veed, all you need to do is head over to the top right and hit export and then export video and Veed will now render your file. In this window, you can now review your final edit and if you're happy, you can just select download MP4, which downloads your file ready to upload to TikTok. So there you have it. That's how you add text to TikTok using two simple methods. Let me know down in the comments below what sort of TikToks you're going to be making. And if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.